I've made a few videos using Windows on the Steam Deck, and a consistent comment I get on all those videos is why don't you just dual boot it? And there are a few reasons why I have it until now. One, dual booting isn't natively supported by the Steam Deck and will require other software to be installed to partition the drive, to have a custom boot manager, all, it just seems really complicated to me. Two, just didn't really see all that much value in SteamOS because the vast majority of the games that I play aren't supported in SteamOS. The only reason I would have, have dual booted is really just for the battery's sake, but and that leads me into number three. I'm a very lazy person by nature, but I'm also a person who gets random bursts of intense focus at 3 a.m. from an untreated ADHD diagnosis from my doctor. So that's how I ended up dual booting my Steam Deck in the first place. So let's just jump right into this. I initially thought dual booting would be hard and annoying, but it ended up not being that hard. And I would just say it spent a lot of time waiting for things to install. And before we really get into this, I would recommend a few things like a dock so you can plug in the keyboard and mouse that really helped me speed up through the setup process and at least an 8 or 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive so you can install Windows and all that stuff a lot easier. If you were doing this on your Steam Deck, I would recommend having at least 256 gigabytes of storage. Once you partition that, that should leave you with 128 gigs for each you know, OS. I would say that's a minimum because Windows is big and it takes a lot of space and it should give you some extra room for future Windows updates. I personally use a 512 gigabyte SSD that I just had lying around, but not everybody just has that kind of thing lying around. But back to my experience dual booting. I followed a guide by Overkill Gaming on YouTube. It was pretty good. I will leave that in description if you guys want to do the same thing I did. Overall, the actual process of dual booting wasn't all that hard. There wasn't that much stuff you had to do in the terminal, so that was pretty nice, but that, that is to say that there wasn't zero terminal stuff. Just to that, what I had to do was fairly easy thanks to the guide I was following. So I really had to think of some uses for this, because like I said, most of the games I play aren't on SteamOS. So what benefit would I have in dual booting? And so I had to find some reasons to dual boot in the first place. Thankfully for this video, I did find some reasons. The first reason is to dual boot is to maximize your performance. Some games do in fact run better on SteamOS, for example Tiny Tina's Wonderland. That game goes from playable in Windows to running fantastic in SteamOS. Even Elden Ring ran better in SteamOS. So I think that's because it has something to do with the Proton Translation layer. That layer optimizes the game for the Steam Deck's custom APU, while in Windows, it treats it like a standard computer without all this unique architecture that doesn't particularly have great drivers in the first place for Windows. So basically what I'm saying is the Proton Translation layer tries to optimize the game for specifically the SteamOS even though those games don't have any specific, you know, settings or whatnot to optimize it for the Steam Deck in particular, which is super cool. I remember back when Elden Ring first came out, it was basically impossible to play on PC due to unbearable stuttering. But thanks to Proton's translation layer on the Steam Deck, was it was relatively unaffected. Another reason to dual boot is the battery savings. Staying in SteamOS helps enormously when playing lighter titles like Stardew Valley or Terraria. I noticed an increase in battery performance from like 4-5 to five hours in Windows to almost 7 hours. It's amazing. The standby power is also fantastic. I would leave my Steam Deck sitting on the counter for a day at 100% and by the next day, you'd just have barely over 50% battery left from just sitting there doing nothing. Versus when it was in SteamOS, I would only lose maybe 20 or 30% over the course of the day. Bear in mind though, this is all purely anecdotal. I didn't do any in-depth testing, just taking notes on my personal experience over the time. It was incredibly convenient to jump between SteamOS and Windows, being able to switch and play games in Windows like Destiny 2 for a bit, then jump into the SteamOS for a bit and to play lighter titles to save some battery life. It was having the best of both worlds. Now to answer the question, should you, the average gamer, dual boot your Steam Deck? Well, I feel like that's more complicated of a question. 
if you have a game that you want to play that flat out isn't compatible with the Steam Deck, then sure, go ahead. But if the vast majority of the games you play aren't compatible with SteamOS, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't just fully stick to Windows. And if you don't play any games that aren't compatible with the Steam Deck, once again, they have no reason to dual boot Windows, it'd just be a waste of storage and a potential battery drain. Even for people who just want to get a lot of battery life, dual booting Windows isn't meant to make a lot of sense for most people. On top of that, it, for people who only play a lot of Windows based games that require stuff like anti-cheat, they're probably not even buying the Steam Deck in the first place, they're probably buying something like the RG Ally or the Legion Go. But for a very small, very niche subset of the Steam Deck community, dual booting is probably the best way to maximize both performance and endurance, getting the most out of your hardware. Trying to gain and optimize your performance and endurance the best way you can, utilizing the hardware to its most efficient. Being able to play all your games in one or the other isn't something you were going to do. It's something that you do out of necessity because Windows provides the best performance for this certain game, or switching to Linux in SteamOS is the best way to get performance out of this game, or it's the best way to play for a long time. It's perfect for people who want to min-max their Steam Deck, try to use it for all their potential gaming needs. Because the Steam Deck can be your everything. I used a Steam Deck as my only computer for a week, and if I had set up dual booting instead of sticking just with SteamOS, it would have been a much better experience being able to switch to Windows when I wanted to get work done, and switch to SteamOS when I wanted to play games. Giving people that flexibility to switch between Windows and SteamOS could be a lot of difference for some people. It could be the difference between getting some work done and getting all your work done. It's an incredibly useful feature. I remember back in the day Apple had this feature called Boot Camp. Before they switched to Apple Silicon, it was a whole thing. And it allowed people to install Windows on their MacBooks and be able to run Windows programs and stuff like that. It was a pre-installed way to optimize and sort of switch between macOS and Windows the official way. And it made the process a whole lot easier. It wasn't a weird hacky solution that you had to install a bunch of other programs and different ways to partition your drive and it might break and it might not work after an update. You don't have to worry about that. I feel like that's the biggest barrier to entry for most people. Because some people who don't can think they might ever need Windows might want to give it a try to see if they would. And purely because Valve doesn't offer some, you know, pre-installed way application or some sort of first party way to do this officially, it means a lot of people wouldn't even try it. Like I said, I made countless videos talking about Windows on the Steam Deck, it's a great experience. A little unoptimized, but hey, what do you expect? It's a Windows gaming handheld. They are never perfect. And being able to supplement that imperfect experience with SteamOS's relative stability would be fantastic for people who use the Steam Deck as their only handheld. It allows them to maximize it to the best of their ability. And Valve not having an official way to dual boot the Steam Deck sort of limits it in that way. And I feel like once Valve does officially support dual booting, it will open a lot of possibilities to a lot of people. What do you guys think about this? Are you going to try this? Has this video gotten you thinking about all the possibilities that you could do if you dual booted? I would love to see what you guys say in the comments. If you want to see another video like this, I made a whole video talking about Windows on the Steam Deck as a whole in my experience using it, and it was awesome. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All those social media garbage down below. And last but not least, have a wonderful day.